Hi, and welcome back to Bold and Body. It's your girl, Maddie, and I'm here with my wonderful co-host, and Wesley. Oh! <laughs> hey, it's Lena D. And, and I've Wesley. been introduced. It's Wesley. <laughs> and Wesley. <laughs> He's here. We're still working on getting rid of him. It's not working. Sorry, guys. Thank you. Um, so <laughs> we're going to get right into it today. This show would be shit without me. <laughs> Hello, motherfucker. Oh, wow. Somebody's we're done. Really we're done. I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> On that note. <laughs> Feeling myself. Bruh. Later, literally. Raiders. I'm out. <laughs> you stupid. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping I you catch all that. that. <laughs> I was like, wait, is, is she going to get it? Because <laughs> I feel it ties really well into today's topic. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so as I was trying to say before this fool came along, we want to get right into it. Um, and it's, we wanted to talk about something that happens very often in all communities. I know oftentimes we talk about minority communities, but I feel like it happens in all communities where we'll see something happen or see some kind of display between two men, um, or even when it's not two men and we'll immediately say, that's gay. That's gay. That's gay. I don't know. Did you guys watch um, Boondocks? Yes. With Riley. With Riley, yes. <laughs> Ew, nigga, that's gay. Like, that's all I think about. It's <laughs> all. And I'm not going to front. Say. I laugh about it because it's Riley. That should be funny. Yeah. <laughs> but, Shout out to Regina King. For real. Um, but I feel like we can't ignore how much of an issue that actually is. And maybe it's just me, but I feel like by referring to things as gay, then we're essentially feeding into um, anti-LGBTQ rhetoric as well as feeding into toxic masculinity. Right. Which go. is something that I honestly feel like we're actively, especially now, working to try to dismantle. We want to get rid of that. Fix your face or just tell me what's, what, on, what your are you, what's on your what's mind. Because you, you put that Why? stank face right away. Toxic masculinity? How, how so? Because it's, well, how do you, when you hear the word toxic masculinity, what does it mean to you? What does it mean to me? Yes. Yeah. I feel like toxic masculinity means to me is that you trying to get put on, right? You trying to get your job. You trying to do whatever it is that you want to do. I feel like because I'm threatened by you because you can do the job as a woman, but X, Y, Z, right? That's how I feel toxic masculinity is. But then again, everybody has a different definition. I feel like, this is what I feel, truthfully, that it's all it's like this phrase word that covers a blanket of different things and it shouldn't be that way to be fair and i agree which is why you should fix your face Absolutely. whenever you hear the word why? because i think because that, you're not open to hearing what other people are actually meaning by their definition of it like the broader definition is not about oh uh, like as a, a man, job. you're oppressing women. That's not what toxic masculinity is. Toxic masculinity is that there's certain elements that have been called out as being masculine. And there's a certain way and a certain um, w- a kind of like a way of thinking of how those elements should always be portrayed. And the moment that it doesn't get portrayed the way that this old school way of thinking has always portrayed them, yeah. it immediately means that it's no longer masculine. And so it's a threat to your masculinity. That that whole concept of thinking that way is what toxic masculinity is. So the fact that like as a man, you shouldn't be wearing pink. Do you agree or disagree? Depends on the pink. What kind of shit is that? What? What? <laughs> What no, shade I, of pink I don't. Is a I don't. For you? I don't. You talking about really like care. hot pink? You, you yeah, know. I'm not really with that. But anyway, that's for not you. my point. I'm not. But if somebody I'm else, actually, is I'm actually it. joking right now. I wear pink all the time, so that don't. Really but that, pink. but that's what toxic masculinity is. is but that, some dudes might see you in your pink shirt and be like, "That's gay." I'd be like, "All right, well, it's gay." And walk away. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm a gay man. <laughs> Shit. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. But I do no. think that there is like, well, what the mantra of like, or the, the concept of masculinity, masculinity as well as the patriarchy are things that do need to get broken down. Anyway. Right, well, yeah. uh, if that's the case, then I feel like women accentuate it, right? When they make turn of phrases like, oh, you need to act like a man. Like, that's toxic. And that's too. Brutal. that That's yeah. Yeah. It. yeah. Just because it's masculinity doesn't mean that only men are. Um, guilty of it oh, we're know, saying toxic sure. masculinity and these ideals are something that everyone contributes to 
So when we say we want to dismantle it, it's like for everyone. Oh, I'm good with because that. Because it's not just men that are going to sit there and be like, oh, that's gay. There's women that will look at a dude in a picture and be like, um, mm-mm, yeah. he's probably gay. Or that's gay. <laughs> or like when like, like a guy's like in his feelings, real. like women will be like, oh, like, yeah, no. like Exactly. Like you're acting like a little that. bitch right now. Like, damn. Again. Yeah. <laughs> why, you, why you got it? A little... <laughs> But does that make sense to you now? It's yeah, not yeah. about like a specific thing, but it's We're any not sort for of you. construct no, 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 or pillar me. or definition that is typically defined as being masculine. And then when you start defining it in a different way, yeah. all of a sudden it's like, oh, well, no, like that's gay or like that's not real or like, you know, men don't act like that. Or even like fra- like the turn of phrase that you use around like, you know, act like a real man or like, why are you crying? This mm-hmm. and that or like. All of that contributes to that. And you do have women that also feed into the patriarchy and feed into toxic masculinity. So it's definitely supported by society overall. It's not just a thing that men are doing or it's not just a thing that women are doing. All right, cool. Um, And what I always find funny about that whole ask like concept is how much we're we push women to act, quote unquote, more masculine and to be more independent and to do things that are typically considered a man's job or a man's place yeah. in the home or in society, right? But we don't have that same space for men to embrace the more, the softer sides of themselves. Yeah, they can't cry. So, yeah, so we did want to just go through some of the things that when we I either see them on social media or... um it's being talked about that oftentimes there's that commentary in the background. It's like, nah, that's gay. Yeah, you can't um, even show an emotion to another dude without it being like, man, gay. Exactly. So that was yeah. one of the first things I wanted to look at. It's just like, if a man shows affection, not just to um, another man, yeah, but, but also to his kids, I've noticed people be like, oh, you shouldn't be doing that. Oh, you like, Michael Jackson. <laughs> that's that's not. <laughs> that's. That's what that's what you get. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like okay. <laughs> For real, I'm serious. No, but they'll be like, "Oh, you on that Michael Jackson status?" And then pull hashtag Michael Jackson. Okay. Like that's kind of weird. Follow, but damn. Yeah. For but real. This like, crazy. It's just like as a man, you can't show emo- like apparently you can't love your kids. You can't love them. The well, did it, did, wasn't there like that video too with like was it Tom Brady and like he was like asking his kid to kiss him on the mouth yeah, or something and, and like did. that was like a big like people were like in uproar because of that. She's like, you're gonna make him gay. How? That shit How? was kind of long, though. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see it. So yeah, I, it's, I, I, I it assume he wasn't key. making out with his child. No, no, it's low key, like a second to this, a second later, and it was in the mouth too. And I, I'm not I, like, I wouldn't do that. I would kiss him on the cheek. I kiss him on the forehead. The mouth, though, like. I know that's my son, but okay, they gotta be late the time. Like, Mwah. like that's it. Not like, <laughs> I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. That's a second too late. Cut it off. <laughs> I feel like it's I not, should have the same energy with girls too. Like, it's not, yeah, I, I feel like it's same, like, yeah, it's the same energy. I've been like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the look on his face. I wish I could see this shit. <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> like, no. Daddy, I love okay. You. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but overall, it's just like if a man is showing affection, then immediately, like we have parameters around how they can show it and oh, what no. kind of affection they can show. Have kids, I'm if awful. a dude is crying and it's just like crying on another guy's shoulder, it's just like I don't know, man. Like, nah, that's questionable. That's Here, suspect. Here's the Here thing, we though. go. Here we go. What thing, what though. what explanation do you have? No, not an explanation, but. Crying is only acceptable in certain situations, right? Like what? In Why? society now. I'm not saying that I accept these rules, but it's only accepted like when you like when you get up to the top, like in sports, right? There's like the finals or whatever. Mm-hmm. We get up to the top and then you finally like you lose. That's when that shit gets emotional and you start crying a little bit, right? Where you you hug somebody, you like <laughs> I, I wanna I wanted to win. <laughs> Um, it's like that's acceptable, or like if you fall, right? Like, let's say I was running out here in these streets and I fell, you know, I bet, man up, man. <laughs> really, nigga. 
Oh, so th- we're not going to call out this toxic masculinity? Hold on. When you <laughs> make your commentary, I'm saying when you make your commentary to add value, <laughs> it was cool. <laughs> now that I'm adding commentary but to prove your point, no if I'm, I'm guilty, I, like, I, shut up. I'm not talking no more. I, I tear up from time to time. If I fail my exam, you know, I'm going to cry a little bit. I'm like, man, but if I'm you were running outside, I work so you, fucking okay, hard and shit. And real just talk, like, real I'm, yo, I'm like, yo, I work so hard. What the fuck? And then I, I'm not going to front. I, if would, you were, I would cry. The first example that you use, if you were running outside and you tripped and fell and you started crying I would, I would cry yo I would <laughs> you probably die in your face yeah. <laughs> I would be laughing so hard yeah. and that has nothing to do with your masculinity yeah. it's just like <laughs> dumbass <Yeah. laughs> like yeah. it would be nothing else but like this nah, I've, I've, I've definitely <laughs> cried like in my in my entire life I've cried I've cried around Lena D a bunch of times um I've cried and when I fail exams I'd be like yo man I've worked so fucking hard for this fucking exam I ain't passed that shit and it'd be like why a couple points I'd be crying and shit yo that's even that's the worst yeah that's the when worst shit like oh shit yo. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't studied for shit hey no more. but I noticed you said around Lena D yeah what about your boys yeah I have actually <laughs> I had to think it's, about it. It sounds like the you last did a lot. time. Yeah, yeah. A lot. What, yeah. Like, what did that happen? No, no. I was had to think. I was like, "Have I? Yeah, I have. Okay, I definitely have." Because you know there are but a they lot understand. of men out there yeah, who are yeah. just like, "Yeah, I would never cry in front of my boys." Well, even see, that's that's a like. I feel like as guys grow and evolve, they tend to admit to certain things that they wouldn't have done in their teens or twenties. Case in point. Okay. Like, if you talk to a high schooler or somebody who's transitioning from high school to college and he's a heterosexual male and he and you ask him so do you eat vagina people like no i don't eat no vagina stop fucking lying i don't even do that shit i don't know what you're talking about he asking when he's 30 he's yeah like, I tear that shit and up. The, yeah yeah exactly <laughs> and you ask him like late early 20s mid 20s to 30s like ah, give me the knife and fork let's go <laughs> So it's stuff like that that like you're just like so oh it's okay just growth in yeah general. it's just growth in general that you're just like but I, yeah. see, I don't think it's always just growth because culturally, like, for example, in a lot of like Latinx households, like there will be this yeah. even like, you know, oh, like just a, a turn of phrase that's used. It's like, oh, you know, los hombres no lloran. Like, you know, men don't cry. Like, it's almost like frowned upon like, or, like from a very young age. Your dad cry all the time. No, I well, that's time. my dad. But like. <laughs> But he also didn't really grow up having like a family structure like that. But yeah, so I'm true. talking about like family structures that exist where they even discourage like little boys to actually express how they feel. Right. Like yeah. it's it's like when you're a four it? like All a four year old boy everything. and then you're crying because you fell. Like and the first thing that you hear is like, "Oh, men don't cry. Like, suck it up. Like you know, no, stop crying like, or whatever." I would just be like, "Yo, just let it out. You're gonna be all right. Get up. Let's do it again." That's it. And so I don't think it's always necessarily like, oh, you become older and you, you're, you're mature and then you're able to accept certain things that you didn't want to publicly admit before. Right. But if it's ingrained in you from a very young age, then, of course, you're always going to be giving in to toxic masculinity because you have this like picture of what it means to be a man. And then if you're growing up in that setting and you're seeing somebody who is more fully matured and is more accepting of who mm-hmm. they are. That's where this comes in, where it's just like, oh, because how you're reacting is not how I've been told is okay to react, then you must be the problem. Right. And that just perpetuates this whole issue that we're talking about. Because if I'm growing up thinking it's not okay for men to cry, and then I'm seeing a man who grew up in a household where that was encouraging him, where he fell and he was just like, no, nah, if you got to cry, cry. But I was told, no, that's not okay. And then I'd be like, oh, something's not right here. And then you like, start, ju- like, and then those are the people that are going out there, like, I think saying these things where it's like you're placing, you're projecting like how you feel on everybody else. And then exactly. all of a sudden it's like, that's, that's what makes something gay or like mm-hmm. even the other word that it's just like, okay, like, why is that? Like, you're a pussy. Like, wait, what? Like your behavior is a pussy. Like, like I don't, I don't get yeah. it. Like, <laughs> you're like pussy, man. They're toughen up shit. <laughs> But have it's you like, seen what a, a vagina can do? That's what I'm saying. That's the toughest thing in the world. Don't yeah. fucks with us. I'll be a dick. <laughs> it's just like I say that to like, me. Don't be a dick, man. <laughs> a breeze catches a penis the wrong way and then on like, the floor. Oh. <laughs> 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 you want to talk about don't be a pussy? No, you're right. Don't be a dick. Sensitive as shit. What the hell? Um, but 
that's neither here nor there. The women are better. Uh. <laughs> it's like my organ is better. Exactly. Call me a pussy. Um, no. Okay. So we had crying. Um, I think there was uh, a picture that I had seen from two baseball players. I think it was. If I can find it, I will post it. But it was two baseball players. One of them was crying. But the other one was like hugging him and consoling him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And That shit made you know, emotional, yo. So. Of course, it's a picture, so we don't know what was going on. Yeah. Um, it could have been anything. It could have been that they just lost. It could have been, I think there were some people that are just like, oh, he had just lost his mom, so he was like consoling him or whatever the case might be. But if you get into the comments, people was really in there like, yo, that's gay. Yo, what are they doing? I would never. I, I got. He's like, are you serious right now? I got I got a story for you. <laughs> so there was a, um, a basketball player. His name is Isaiah Thomas. I think he lost his sister. His sister got into a car accident couple days before but around this time it was the playoff time so anybody who was a basketball aficionado knows that the playoff lead into the conference finals mm-hmm. the conference line leads in the finals right so this is playoff time he's playing for the boston Celtics at the time Boo. and um <laughs> <laughs> tell him how you really feel <laughs> he's playing for the boston Celtics at the time and um at one point after like while they're practicing he just breaks down and starts crying so uh, Charles Barkley decides that he wanted to be an idiot and be like, oh, you know, they shouldn't even be showing him like this on the court. I'm like, why? And everybody looking at him like he just lost his parents. Oh, he's not his parents. He lost his sister. Why shouldn't he be out there? Good. They shouldn't be just showing him like that because, you know, it's playoff time and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, my man's playing with a hurt hip and like. He just he lost his sister. Emotional so distress. he just, and my man just wants to play, get this shit off, and not really think about it as much. So what's the problem again? So like that, that so I think that his projecting reaction, that image yeah, of, yeah. so this is exactly what we're saying. Like for some people, it's just like, yeah, he should be able to cry. And then you have other people, it's just like, no, we shouldn't be showing him as a man yeah. in that state. Maybe it's, it's like, better that he doesn't have up. kids. So <laughs> one less person out there to, to worry about. Word. <laughs> um, but no, I'm pretty sure like we can all think of a multitude of different examples of that. And from the outside looking in, we're just like, but why is this a problem? And how is that gay? Like, that's my thing. Well, I can never find somebody that can actually give me an answer. Be like, so how's that gay? Well, you know, no, I don't, I don't know. That's what I'm asking you. <laughs> like, tell me, explain it to me. And you know, nobody can. But you know, though, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just like, oh, it's good, also good. the fact that it's like, it's called, out of all of the things you call it, it's like gay. It's gay. Like, yeah. but it's like, well, well, do you really know what it's like the identity of being know. gay? It's always referring to like, like gay is only used for a man. Like it's men that their sexuality is that they mm. want to be with other men. Like, what does that have to Gay do? Gay is with- also happy. Well, yeah, the the hey. old school. I'm just saying. Word that, I mean, the definition that's kind of lost its meaning now in the century. If I but- say that I was skipping gaily down the street, it means I was skipping happily. <laughs> <laughs> but what then it's like, do? okay, so like, how is any of these things, how do they connect with somebody's like sexual identity is still mm-hmm. what nobody can explain. And instead it makes... It's almost like you're continuing to marginalize a marginalized community. Absolutely. Because you're not giving any explanation to what it is that you're really trying to ex- imp- uh, express. Mm-hmm. But you're essentially just bucketing anybody that identifies as gay as being something that's unacceptable. True. Absolutely. Or just not manly, which is it's crazy to me. Um, some of the other things that I thought about when considering that is the activities um, or sports that we quote unquote consider gay. So when I thought I was like gymnastics, ballet, cheer, yoga, and spin. So those are the top five things where I think of like when. Is it really a, a list? guy? Wait, wait, no, wait. No, 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 but Spinning is gay? Bruh. When a guy is doing that where people would be like, I don't know, I can't, oh, I can't go to spin I'm, class because that's gay. I'm it's a homosexual. Like, oh my God, how is spin gay? And then I'm but then I'm not going to front. Every spin class that I've been to, the only guys that there have been gay. And I'm just like, y'all are fucking shit up right now. <laughs> like, I need at least two straight men in here to balance this out because God damn it, we'd be having so much fun in spin class. I'm, spin class is bomb. I'm flaming then. Cause so, okay, besides been... Wesley, if there are any men out there that go to spin that are straight, please let me know because we need to go to classes together. 
because I feel like it would be a lot of fun. And yeah. if you are well, part of the Jubari tribe, how much yeah, it For real. <laughs> Even better. Again. First date. The Winston Duke Challenge is Ooh, still on. Yes. And then my spin um place, they do Hamilton Peloton. days. Oh, so really? like they'll have Hamilton themed rides. If you're a straight man who is from Jabari who likes Hamilton. That just sounds like Wilson Winston Duke right there. Like that's yeah. like only Winston Duke can, <laughs> yeah. can, can respond to this challenge. <laughs> Hey, Winston Duke, yo. if you're listening right now, like it would make got a girl. Maddie's he like got a girl. Got it a girl. would make Maddie's like whole yo. life if you come over for like five minutes, if right? Y'all want to take off the shirt with me. and sign like whatever she wants you to sign. <laughs> I just, I just, we just need a picture, <laughs> <laughs> and then we're gonna lay in bed and cuddle <laughs> <laughs> for like three minutes, though. Absolutely, <laughs> you would make her whole life. Um, no, no, no. Honestly, for real. Side note, um, he did a, a video where he reads like thirsty. Yes, we yeah, we saw, saw that. that, and I was just like, "Oh my god, y'all bitches <laughs> need to stop." What, what <laughs> was Yo, the this first is one? My man, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, what was what was that? The one thirsty? tweet was like, "Mbaku can, can blow my, blow my Mbaku, Mbaku out." out. Yes, <laughs> like, what? And I was like, "I would say that." <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but like, no, no, no. Jesus. <laughs> but seriously, some a lot of these, I feel oh, like God, those are the things that I thought about. Where it's just like. If a guy is doing it, then it's just like you automatically assume that he's not straight, especially Which when it comes crazy. to cheer. Like, I think in my high school, we had like one male cheerleader. I'm sure they made fun of him. Absolutely. He did come out as gay years later, but wow. still, <laughs> still, well, I, mean, I was just like, but for the guys that are straight that would want to do it, I'm just like, well, why can't you? Well, it's kind of ironic that there. it's like men have tried Well. I'm going to say the institution of men have tried so hard to keep women from doing certain things. Mm -hmm. But then the fact that like a man could literally do anything that they would want to do. But then there's like, except for things that are like being a woman. Exactly. So it's like, wait, what? (laughs) Exactly. And it's just like, I feel like if more men were open to it and could ignore that stigma, they would dominate it would like the world would be such a better place absolutely it's like it it actually if we could if we could remove sexuality and gender from the equation it would be such a better thing like if we could just be people and if whether it's like an executive or like a ceo that's a woman versus a ceo that's a man like why would that even be relevant but like unfortunately like there's been so much stigma that's been placed on like sexual orientation as well as like, mm-hmm. you know, being a woman or, or a person of color and like all of these things, like eventually when it happens, like there's so many things that it's like kind of going against the odds. Right. And then when you make it, it has to be celebrated instead of just being like, oh, well, Word. you know, she's a smart CEO. <clears throat> it's always like, oh, she's a CEO and a woman and like something, something. It's always like this exactly. qualifier. And the fact that you're not, it's not acceptable until you've reached that level of success. Right. Mm-hmm. So it's like, okay, if you're a smart woman and you're working your way up the corporate ladder, then it's just like, keep going. Sure. Okay. And then you become CEO and it's just like, oh my gosh, like she's amazing. I always had faith in her. I believed in it. It's just like, but two years ago, you were telling me I wasn't going to make it because I was a woman. Yeah. Oh. Like two years ago, you were telling me I wasn't going to make it in this industry because there are no people of color. Or because there are no whatever, fill in the blank. But then when you make it, it's just like, okay, this is acceptable. So when we, oh, figure skating, that's another one, right? Oh. (laughs) It's just like, when you think about figure skaters, if it's a man that's figure skating, it's just like, oh, nah, that's gay. Until he's on the Olympic team. Then he's performing on that level. It's just like, oh my gosh, he's so great. That was wonderful. I loved watching. It's like everybody wants to jump on the bandwagon afterwards. Like once you're doing well or successful. But then there's so much critique beforehand. And it's like, why would that encourage anybody to to explore that? Because I'm trying to push you to be the best by calling you gay. Hell no. What? I'm joking. <laughs> Clearly, that that's very facetious and very like sarcastic. But just like, that's I'm not, not even. How it works. Yeah, I'm not even <laughs> laughing. Like, like that's not. You'd how be it surprised about how that's how people think. They'd be like, "Oh, I called you names so I could push you to be the best person Word. you can be." I have. Heard I'm that. Ser- I'm not. 
I got no smile on my face when I say that. I'm absolutely telling you the truth. That's definitely people would be like, you know, it's like reverse psychology. Like, no, that's verbal abuse. Yeah, for real. Like, that's that not is how not this okay. Works. I'm not even trying to be like a jerk when I said that. Like, that like, was just, again, sarcastic comment, but that's how people think sometimes. Absolutely. Words and of I encouragement like, are not like, going to work at all. There are a lot of people, if you speak to them, it's just like, you know, I had an interest in this sport or in this activity, but because of all the criticism, yeah. I decided not to pursue it anymore. Yep. I decided not to go down this path. And the main one, especially when it comes to attacking men, it's just like, you're going to, they attack people. Men's Beyond sexuality. People. Yeah. It's like, it's other dudes. And oh, the comments, what I was talking about earlier. And I think like, we've all seen them. The comments where it's just like, yo, this is gay. Or I don't know about this. Always comes from men. I mean, yeah, women don't normally say stuff. I've never women really... will say stuff to your face. Well, it's like <laughs> that's what I've noticed. It's like be a man. <laughs> yeah, women will say stuff to your face. But on social media, a lot of these attacks where I'm just like, it's other men. I'm like, I don't understand. I... Women will see the comments and be like, oh my god, I'm so happy. Like I love seeing guys I that thir- are in tune I with do, themselves. I do. I will say that I do enjoy when women call each like women tell other women, be a man. Fucking suck that shit up. <laughs> they yeah, be going damn sandwich. Yeah, I'm like, it should be intense, all right? I'm like, God damn, that shit kind of a turn on. <laughs> Man up. I can't, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or like, there was one, I always tell uh, Lena D this, when I watch G.I. Jane, and she get her ass kicked by the sergeant, and then the sergeant talking mad shit, she's like, my sergeant, suck my dick. I was like, oh, oh yeah, I do yes. remember that. Yeah. <laughs> She was like, yeah. fuck you. <laughs> that's that should be awesome. Yeah. And I'm not gonna front. That's I feel like that's the most disrespectful thing you could say. I know, right? But you said and I, the- whenever I say it, I'm I'm trying to be disrespectful. <laughs> like this isn't even I'm not trying to be funny, I'm not trying to be cute. If I tell you you can suck my dick, like, yo, I meant that from the depth of my soul. <laughs> <laughs> I mean it. <laughs> like, don't think that we're gonna be cool after this. Like, this is it. It's uh, like you've crossed oh, the line like, and a point that you cannot return. Absolutely. From. Um Oh, but no, <laughs> we, we keep digressing. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, okay, so we talked about the the sports and activities. Yes, we're trying to find me a spin buddy. Um, Who's hey. preferably of the Jabari tribe? Preferably, but you know, if you're not, that's okay too. Um, Just be to cute. Be- <laughs> Yeah, that's it. Jabari like, <laughs> but not a nigga named Jabari. <laughs> Oh, and cute. if your name just happens to be Jabari, that's fine. But that can't be your only qualifier. That's yeah. all we're saying. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> anyway, um, and then the other thing that I, I think we, we had mentioned was um, attacking and judging men for appreciating things that are typically considered feminine. So I remember reading um, this one blurb article about this guy. And he's just like, you know, I like to get my girl flowers. But she doesn't know that I like flowers a lot. And the bouquets, I actually arrange them myself. Like oh. I make the arrangements, so yeah, she always bad. thinks that oh, that's cute. he's that's picking cute. them up. Yeah, but he never felt comfortable enough to tell her. So she's always thinking, "Oh, we have a really good florist that you're going to," and it's always and him. It's him. And I'm just Aww. like, that is so sweet. But it makes like it breaks my heart that you can't tell but your you don't girlfriend, feel comfortable saying like, "Hey, yeah, I she like might use that shit enough. against you in an argument." That's why he like that's ridiculous. Me. Time out. Um, and we covered like wearing pink. And do you guys remember that like period in time where being metrosexual was a thing? Yes, I do remember that. <laughs> where it's just like guys who really took care of themselves and their appearances. I, I would thought and that was just being hygienic. No, like no. no, I'm talking about like, you know, guys that would like really pay attention to detail, like the coordination of the colors and like certain shoes or like even like I think that and, was like, the time they did self care. So it's just like, yeah, they would go and they would get like man manis and manis, do facial. Yeah. That sounds like a pretty boy. No. Okay, so at one point in time, it was we called, were calling it was called them the- metrosexuals. Oh, well then I have, Do you guys a, not I have one at okay, once. I remember, so you that. remember I remember. It was a very I short never, period of yeah. time, and I don't know what happened to the word, but when I think about it, it's it was just like... I think it was part of that show. What was that old school show called? What? It was, they, they were introduced the term metrosexual. Which Was show? it queer as fuck? What? That's a show? Yeah. I don't know. It was queer as something. Queer, queer as folk? Or... It was a Fox show. Wow. Shit, I don't remember. <coughs> I do remember Okay, so we're all gonna though. look it up. But um oh here we go. It was coined in 1994. 
describing a man who is especially meticulous about his grooming and appearance. Okay. Typically spending a significant amount of time and money on shopping as part of this. Um, while the term suggests that a metrosexual is heterosexual, it can also refer to gay or bisexual men. So it was, I just felt like it was always such a weird time because it's like, so you don't want to acknowledge that you're gay or that you're straight and just like to take care of yourself or it does you have to be gay to take care of queer yourself? Queer eye for the straight guy. I, think I said that. And oh. you said queer as fuck. And I was like, that doesn't sound right. It was queer as fuck <laughs> or queer as something. But I forgot what it was. Okay. That's what it but, is. Um, yeah. And then I feel like it kind of just went away. And we just started calling people gay. Well, it kind of... No, <laughs> I, think it went away, I think it went away because all of a sudden it became acceptable to have men's fashion. Shout out to Ellen DeGeneres for that. For what the men's fashion thing? No, no, no. I'm saying shout out to Ellen DeGeneres for making it possible oh. for everybody to come out and it be all right because you're a normal person and you're not some fucking alien. Oh, because of your sexuality, con- exactly. Yeah, no, but but I think um, well, I think uh, I don't know. That's right, damn it. 1996. I remember that episode. <laughs> Listen, I feel like there was a lot of people before, but go ahead. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I was like, wait, what are we she shouting her out for? She didn't start. That. She didn't start that shit. I mean, I think there's she always lose, like she lost a lot for it, but no, she gained it all back. She sure trust did. me. Go ahead, sorry. Go ahead. Um, keep interrupting Lena. No, it's like, wait, which way are we taking the conversation? <laughs> okay. I'm just this gonna way. go back. This okay. way, You're taking it your way. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but all I was gonna say is like, I think there was a point in time where like fashion was like a woman thing, right? Like mm-hmm. you know, women are the ones that spend all this the money and like the money, in the energy. malls and like going to spend all this time like oh it always takes you so long to, to like get, get ready, ready. like yep. oh you got to be a woman you must be a woman because it's taking you so long and i think that's even when with some men like whenever they took too long to get ready there was like well are you a woman now like, it takes mm. you forever to get ready yeah and so it sounded it- mad italian when you said that though <laughs> very <laughs> like her name's Vinny. what you sound like a woman now huh? <laughs> i guess that's I guess that I get that from Italians. I don't know. Vito, you should only take five minutes to get yeah. ready in the bathroom. I don't know what just happened. Yeah, I don't yeah. know what happened either. Yeah. I think I got possessed by like the yeah, by real. Vinny. Yeah. <laughs> like, what the hell? I think the Staten Island took over. <laughs> Which is like I don't have any Staten That's Island in me, but anyway. Funny. But I think eventually there was like this big like focus on men's fashion and it became it became cool to go like shopping for the latest trends and so i think eventually that's why metrosexual went away because there was now another way to make it socially acceptable but Mm -hmm. like it had to get coined as its own thing because to your point it was like people were like well i like paying attention to like how i look but i don't want to seem gay or blah 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 and then so then all of a sudden it's not even because i think gay is bad it's just because i'm not it um but it still doesn't make sense <laughs> yeah. to why that becomes a default way to describe Man, it. Man, I gotta get up. My ass hurts from the seat. Shit. Okay. You have to say that right into the ca- into okay, the, <laughs> to the mic? Shit. I was getting up Jeez. and he mic mad close. So. Anyway. Uh... <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Are you done? Yeah. We're gonna, let you, we're gonna let you have your moment. Fucking butt hurts. What? Are you done? Yeah, I'm we're good. We're making sure your butt is okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Sorry about that. All right, so... <laughs> Especially when I we're talking about that. the top of that's gay. And I say, but that, I think that's how the <laughs> that's how the flow of it went. At least that's okay. my theory. So it was it was introduced to cover a group of men who felt like they were they were being they would have been called out. They would have been called out if otherwise. Like yeah. So it's just like I'm not gay. I just care about my appearance. And then all of a sudden, and then, it became okay to care about your appearance. Yeah. And, and so then, then gay guys were like, we've been doing this. The fuck was taking you oh, so yeah, long? We got, I got plenty of guys <laughs> like that at work. I know one in particular. I can text him right now. Be like, yeah. hey, I'm trying to find, you know, a face mask. And be like, oh, let me tell you. You get a haircut like every fucking week. <laughs> like, damn, man. I can barely get time to put in like once every three months now. You get every week, though? More power to you. Because he makes the time. He cares. I all right. Mean, shit. But, but I think the moral of our story is stop calling stuff gay. Like, if you don't like it because the color is too intense, then say that. Or if you just don't understand it because you feel like men should fit into this bubble, then you should really get out of that damn mindset because this is ridiculous. 
And like we're saying, it's not just about the toxic masculinity. It's about the anti LGBTQ sentiments that are harmful. They're harmful to everyone in all honesty. And it really doesn't allow us to progress as like a society, because if we're always attacking people for their sexuality, like we have to move beyond that, too. Absolutely. Like at some point, it's like a sexual like sexuality is not a group thing. Sexuality is an individual thing. Mm -hmm. And people should be allowed to live the sexuality and the way that they want to express themselves sexually the way that they want to without anybody butting their heads into it. Like it's not your fucking business. So shut up. And wear this damn pink shirt and my hot pink shoes. That's right, damn it. And I'm going to get my nails done. And I'm going to cry. Bitch. <laughs> what you going to do about it? <laughs> Word. <laughs> what are you going to do? Like, you just called me gay. And what? Yeah, what? I was like, oh, yo, 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 it's gay. <laughs> okay. I like gay shit, though. <laughs> <laughs> Spin is gay. Spin might be gay, but you know what? I got calves of steel. Yeah, get at me. <laughs> um. So yeah, that was that was our two cents on this. And if there's anything where you're just like, nah, you guys, that is gay, please just let us know and explain it to us because maybe we just don't have enough understanding. Man, when was the last time I used the phrase that's gay? I think 2007. And that's what I a like to hear. Time. It should stop. Like, yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. I was <laughs> like, when was the last? I was just, I had to really think about that one. Man, awesome. I have done some improvements on myself. Boom, look at that. Good. If Wesley can do it, you can do it too. Wow. That's saying a lot. That's not saying a lot, by the way. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> saying a lot. If we could fix this one, <laughs> yo, <laughs> there's hope for everyone. I am kind of a challenge. I'm very hard headed. So, anyway, so guys yeah. out there, be yourself. Do you live your life? And when other people, oh, and if you catch somebody like referring to something as gay, challenge it. Call that shit out. I, be like, what you I mean, mean by that? I don't, just, just ask them simple question how how is that gay what makes it gay boom and it's just like oh uh, yeah shut up stupid damn all right well <laughs> don't call them stupid that's not nice i would call them stupid for saying that shit anyway um, um oh, I was about to say, <laughs> oh go ahead <laughs> i was gonna say room me not nah, about i'm okay okay yeah let's we can't be like, hey, let's let's be nice and loving and understanding, yeah. and then beat them motherfuckers ass if they say some stupid shit. Tell them, <laughs> wait, to what? Suck your pee pee or the clip from the back. <gasps> from the back. Yeah, from the back. That's right, damn it. That sounds interesting. <laughs> yeah. All right. Peace out, Girl Scouts. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Later, Gators. <laughs>